today menu i'm going to make mac and cheese so i got my water boiling at the moment i always make my water boil before i put my pasta in i am melting my butter to make my mac and cheese so in my water i always put a bit of oil in it you can see the oil that i'm putting that it doesn't take up i put salt in it already to get the um things getting blurry because so i'm putting my pasta and i'm putting two different type of pasta in it right, i'm going to add a bit more water i'm just going to boil my pepper So I'm going to make a roux sauce, so I'm going to add a bit of flour in it first and then I'm going to pause it because it's just me that no one to help me the process of what I'm going through. So that's my sauce going so far. It's a little bit lumpy but I'm still stirring so the lump can come out of it and that's my pasta boiling. So um mixing out the lump out of my sauce to go with my macaroni and cheese so right now that is the result of my sauce i put a little bit of um thyme in it my pasta is still bubbling and i'm tying out my chicken so i'm going to make it with some i don't know what kind of chicken i'm going to make but for the time being that's my chicken so with my sauce my sauce i haven't had any cheese as yet so i'm just still letting it cook a little bit so I had my cheese in it so just keep on watching okay so that's my cheese that i had i had my cheese and i'm going to store so i'm going to pause my video again because as i said i got no one to help me to hold my phone look my sauce is finished my pasta is ready so i'm going to strain my pasta and put my sauce on it so you soon see so i'm mixing my sauce in and then after i mix my sauce in i'm going to grate the cheese on the top of it but as i said i can't show everything because this i'm the one of to hold my phone so i'm mixing my sauce in it smells so nice and my kids they, they love stuff like this and then after i'm going to he's crying he's tired the time is hot so yeah i'm going to do my cheese on the top now so back in a minute Kyle. You still? as you can see i cover my mac and cheese with cheese and i preheated my oven so i am going to put this in so when it finished bake you will see and when i started my chicken you will see my chicken so right i am tidying up back whatever i done and my um what my um thing is in the oven that's it so we stare on the low eat and i'm going to tidy up button now and then i will get back that is my mac and cheese i think maybe it's glaring from the the oven thing but yeah that's it soon take it out right so i'm um, have a bit of vinegar and I'm washing my meat with lemon and vinegar to 
get the process of my um, chicken ready so I cut up my I cut up my um my chicken so I'm going to strain off that one then I'm going to do some more water so I'm going to clean up my chicken a bit more so when I season up you will see so I'll be back in a minute again so that is my mac and cheese and that's my chicken well seasoning so I'm going to start to prepare it I'm going to french fry some and brown stew some down so that's my mac and cheese well done so that's my chicken I'm french frying some chicken and I'm going to brown stew the rest of them to go with my lovely pasta yeah. so that is my chicken that I just turned so I'm taking my time that it fry through so that's my chicken this is how far I am with my chicken and I get back to it. So that is my fried chicken. I cover up my pasta and I'm frying these up to make my brunch with chicken. So that's it. So when I'm going to cook down my chicken, I will show you what else I'm doing. Hey, wait, hey, hey, stop bang this stuff. Um, sorry. That's the progress of my chicken. It is finished cooked. I'm going to turn off the stove now. I'm not going to share now because it's like um 12 something. And my son is in school. It's just a baby at home. So maybe take a picture and post it up and Facebook and Instagram when I share it later. But yeah, that's my dinner. And of my chicken okay. that's my chicken and remember my lovely pasta thank you and I'm asking everyone to please subscribe and for any more dishes that anyone want me to cook please let me know thank you